The Georgetown ISD kicks off the school year tomorrow. Now, unlike some of our other large districts in Central Texas, Georgetown will not require masks or offer virtual learning. KXAN's Tom Miller asked the superintendent about those decisions and how they were made. Many of your neighboring school districts have issued a mask mandate. You haven't. Why not? Quite honestly, the governor's orders has some recommendations there that, that we agree with. And, you know, face masks are so divisive right now. I don't know why we would introduce that into our schools and imposing that on people. Uh, I think it's more important that we focus on respecting everyone that we need to figure out how to navigate the school year together. Georgetown ISD does not have a virtual learning option. Why was that decision made? The most important thing about virtual learning is it's not as effective as in-person learning. If we can get our kids back in school and we can navigate the safety protocols together and help each other figure this thing out cooperatively as a community, we will find a way to secure the emotional and academic needs of our students. There was this video that was on Facebook of a rally at Georgetown ISD with teachers and staff I don't think anyone or maybe a handful of people were wearing masks. Do you worry about the example that that sets? This year, we gave everyone a remote option. They could watch it from their classrooms or and they could wear masks. We provided masks and hand sanitizers at the tables. And giving adults uh, the, the choice was really important to us. And I was proud of our event and I'm proud of our staff and I love the culture we have in Georgetown ISD. What is it about this school year that, that you're excited about and looking forward to? I'm so excited to see kids and teachers back in our schools. Um, we are excited to see students. Some of them have not been with us for 18 months, and they're coming back to school. Get set for school at KXAN.com. That's where we are updating all the COVID safety rules and protocols by school district.